Polish culture is an incredibly important part of the American fabric. Some of the earliest settlers were in places like Bandera and St. Hedwig here in Texas. But Panna Maria is really the Plymouth Rock, the founding place, the cradle of American Polonia, the first fully Polish settlement in the United States. They came to the tree there uh, in a place they named Panna Maria. In the Polish culture, one of the most beautiful celebrations is Midnight Mass at Christmas. As soon as it was 12 o'clock, they offered a Mass of Thanksgiving under that tree. And that tree still stands there today. It's a great symbol of uh, strength through faith uh, and trust in God. We've got to remember that they arrived here in 1854, only 18 years after the Alamo, only nine years after Texas became a state. This was tough country. There were no roads, there were no wells, there was certainly no electricity, there were no homes, there were no buildings, there was nothing. All they brought with them was their strong faith, their know-how, and their pride in their Polish heritage and their culture, and they went to work. It took tremendous courage, and they did it. We've got to honor that courage, We've got to respect that courage, and that's what the Heritage Center is all about. We're so fortunate to have it here in what St. John Paul described as the nest of Polish immigration to the United States. He said they're famous in Poland. Panna Maria w Teksasie jest sławna w Polsce. When you walk up to the building, it is magnificent, but it's just a shell. What really is needed now is to fill that interior. Inside, we're going to have exhibits. It's going to have a theater. It's going to have a library, research and archive section, a genealogical section. It is going to have the history of the families. It is going to be one of the most talked about centers in the United States and in fact in the world. When I first saw that building, I said, wow, I could not believe it. I could not believe that something of this scope, of this size, of this magnitude was being put up to honor our Polish ancestors. It just really grabbed me. It really grabbed me right here. And I said, my gosh, what a beautiful story this is to tell. Hey, my name is Randy Pavelic. Uh, my family came here from Poland in the mid-1850s on a boat to Indianola, walked to Panna Maria, bought some land, and the land is, is really terrible where they settled. How they made a living, I'll never know. And I think that the people who inherited this land from their ancestors should really step up to the plate and make a large contribution versus a $50 contribution because it's all because of your ancestors that you're able to do this. And that's one of the reasons why my wife and I have given a fairly large amount, and we plan to give again. We'll probably give every year. Albert Cerner family came in 1854, which is George's great-great-grandmother, and his father, his great-great-grandfather, Thomas Kowalik, came in 1856. We don't understand how they survived. Uh, they had droughts that almost starved them to death. They sacrificed a great deal, and their heritage needs to be preserved the hardships, their Christianity, their family values, their sense of community. Everything that they gave us, they taught us, we need to keep that preserved for future generations. We've been greatly blessed. The whole community is blessed. That's why people need to consider the project that we've got going to preserve the heritage. When I see that building, it makes me feel like we're, we're putting up something that's gonna last 300, 400 years for future generations. I'm Sam Katara. This is my wife Susie. Uh, we're from Panama Maria, or Corns County area. Our ancestors were the Bunks. The first year they had probably the greatest drought in South Texas history. They uh, had to hunker down and do the best they could with what they had. Our parents and grandparents made sacrifices so that we can all have what we have and we should share that and pay it forward. The older generation is passing on and the stories aren't being told. We need to keep these stories for our children and grandchildren. We are uh, Lambert and Rosalie Pavelic-Tiesman. Uh, 
Our great grandparents came from Poland. We gave because we felt like they need to be rewarded and remembered for what they did. I think we should give to this thing. And I think everyone should look at it and say, hey, this wasn't just handed to us. It was your parents and your great grandparents work for it. Support them today and let's leave something in their honor. This campaign is not finished. We need people to contribute. We have raised $7.3 million. That has provided us the land. It has provided us the shell. But what still needs to happen is we need to raise the funds to provide that interior. God blesses us uh, in order that we might bless others. And I invite all of you to do what you can and, and not just a one-time gift, but continue to give on a monthly basis or a, a yearly basis. And now let's get this job done. When this campaign is finished, we will be a part of history. This will be the preeminent Polish Heritage Center in the United States and a beacon to the world. I would ask all of you to really consider a major gift and we can all look back and say, I was a part of building the Polish Heritage Center at Panamaria, Texas.